situation, pray. I want us to pray right now against COVID. COVID has ravaged our nation. COVID is destroying people's lives. COVID is destroying people's livelihoods. COVID is just... We are tired of hearing the word COVID-19, COVID-19. And we want God to just intervene. Things are not in order. How can we be sleeping when things are not in order? How can we be eating day in, day out when things are not in order? How can we just say we accept it as it is? Our children will never know what, you know, the freedom of walking on down the street without a mask. The freedom of going to the shop without a mask. I want us to pray. A heartfelt prayer and ask God for intervention. God is able. The word of God says it's not, let's just quickly go there. I think it's, um, uh, let's go to Isaiah 61. Isaiah 59, the word of God says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Or his ear dull, that it cannot hear. But our iniquities have built a separation between us and God. So I want us to pray. I want us to, to intercede. I want us to intercede and stand in the gap for this nation. The word of God says God is able. So let's just put the word of God in practice. Let's test him, try him, and see if he will not come through for us. Glory to God. So the word of God says, call unto me, and I will answer and show you great and mighty things. So I want us to pray. Let's just a heartfelt prayer before the Lord and say, intervene in our lives intervene in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in our towns, intervene in our government, intervene in this nation at large. We need you, O oh God, by the power in the name of Jesus. Come, people of God, let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we desire your leading, O oh God. We need you, O oh God, we need your intervention. Lord, we desire your divine intervention. Show yourself strong in our lives, Jehovah. Arise and let your name be glorified. Arise, Jehovah, and manifest your power. Touch our lives, O oh God. Touch us, O oh God. Touch our homes. Touch our hospitals in the name of Jesus. Touch people, O oh God, on the roads. Touch people, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray by your strong hand and outstretched arm. For your word tells us, O oh God, that you are God whose hand is not short to touch. In the name of Jesus, you are God who is able to save. So we call unto you, Jehovah, once again this morning. We need your divine intervention. We need your healing, O oh God, in our land. We need your healing in our lives. We need your healing in our homes. We need your healing in this nation. Heal us, O oh God, of all our diseases. Heal us as a nation of God, heal us as a continent. Heal us, O oh God, globally in the name of Jesus. We pray, heal us, Jehovah God. Arise and manifest your power, Daddy. Father, you are God who is able to turn a situation around. You are God who is able to turn things around to our good. You are God who speaks better things of our lives. God who was in the beginning before any beginning began. God who knew about this season of our lives before it even manifested. So we come again before you, Jehovah. We pray for your divine intervention. We pray for your divine intervention. Intervene by the power of God. Intervene, O Holy Spirit of the living God. Let healing come forth in the name of Jesus. Heal us and we shall be healed, O God. Heal our land and it shall be healed, O God. Heal our going out and coming in and it shall be healed. Heal our schools, O God. Heal our nation, O God. Heal us by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the sake of our children, for the sake of our children, for the sake of your people, for the sake of your saints, O Lord, in this Land of God. Let the spirit of God be under COVID 19 be arrested, O God, be stopped, O God, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. 
for the sake of our children, for the sake of your people, for the sake of the church, for the sake of your word, to God in the highest. Proverbs 16 verse um, 1, the word of God says, the plans of the heart belongs to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Glory to God. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. The plans of what we want to do belongs to us, but it is God who answers the prayer. It is God who makes it come to pass. So I want us to pray for the Spirit of God to move without restraint in this place. We come here desiring a touch by the Lord. We desire preservation. We desire that God will speak better things over our lives. That God will turn situations in our lives around. But it is, you know, it is the Lord... But the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So we need to pray about it. We need to utter it. And we need to say, God intervene and he intervenes. Hallelujah. So I want us to pray and lift this service before the Lord. And ask for his intervention. And ask that the Holy Spirit of the living God will move in this place without restraint. Glory to God. Father, we pray we invoke your power today. We pray that you'll take total preeminence in this service. Take total control, Jehovah God of Israel. Move without restraint, O oh God. Move, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Speak into our lives in this service by the power of the Holy Ghost. Have your way today by the power of God in the highest. Show yourself strong in the mighty name of Jesus. We surrender this service to you, Lord. We pray that you will take total preeminence. We pray that you will take total control. We pray, Jehovah, that you will manifest your power, that you will speak better things of our life. We pray, your oh God, that in the name of Jesus, your will shall be established today in this place. Establish your will in our lives. Establish your will in this place. Establish your will by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God arise and the works of the enemy scatter. Take total preeminence of God. Speak into our life, Jehovah. Manifest yourself, Jehovah. Show yourself strong in the name of Jesus. Let God arise today and his name be glorified by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for the power and the blood of Jesus. We are here, O God, for your presence. For you and you alone in the name of Jesus. 
be the blood to the world to somebody today. Be the shalom to somebody today. Be the man of war to somebody today. Be the one who defeated the battle of somebody's work today. By the power in the name of Jesus, oh God, we raise a prayer to you, oh God. We raise a supplication to you, oh God. Without you, we can do nothing, oh God. By might shall shall no men prevail. We are all do it. We cannot do it, oh God. As we walk at the name of the Lord, as we run unto you, the strong and power, as we run unto you, the ancient of days, the God who has been around before the foundation of the altar, the God who has been around before the scientists went there, we run unto you, oh God. You are the ancient of days. You have been around and you continue to be around. Hear the cry of your people, O oh God. Hear the cry of our nation, O oh God. Hear the cry of the saints, O oh God. Hear the cry of your people, O oh God. Hear the cry of the body of Christ. Come down, O my text, God. May you rain the heavens and come down. Hear our supplication of our Hear the you are the ancient of day. You have been around, oh God. You will continue to be around. Hear Sakoro Sayaba. Make it take a tower. An obstacle in somebody worth be removed by the power in the name of Jesus. You have been around. Our Father and our God. And you continue to be around. When you are the ancient of We call to your name this morning. If we all the scientists you are so ancient of days, you are still we are you are so ancient of days. If all the foundation of the old ancient of days are still alive, you are the Lord. You are the Lord as in power. Your years have no end. Of Nothing catches you by surprise. You are the prayer of your people. Respond to our heart cry, Lord. Believe you. lives down before you. We surrender unto you, Jehovah. Let every knee bow before you, Lord. Every tongue confess that you are God. In the name of Jesus, you are the ancient of day. Your years have no end. In the name of Jesus, you just continue to reign. In the name of Jesus, your fountain of grace continues to flow day in, day out. You are God who has showed us mercy even in times when we less deserved it. You are God who continues to lead and to guide us. You are God who speaks better things of our lives. You are God who does not change. You are the ancient of day, the lily of the valley. You are the rock of our salvation, the holy one of Israel, the horn of our salvation, the lifter up of our heads. God who was in the beginning before any beginning began. God who reigns from everlasting to everlasting. There's none that can compare to you, Jehovah. You, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator who knows the beginning from the end of our lives, who keeps us, oh God, consistently and continuously. You speak better things of our lives. You lead and guide us, Jehovah. You manifest your power in our lives. It is by your grace that we are preserved today. There's nothing special we have done, but you have showed us mercy, O oh God. We cry, O oh Son, unto you, ancient of days. O oh Son, unto you, lion of the tribe of Judah. O oh Son, unto you, the rock of ages. 
Hosanna unto you, the Father to the fatherless. Hosanna unto you, the mighty one in battle. Hosanna unto you, the preserver of the saints. Hosanna unto you, the one who's the greatest of them steward. You know the number of heads on our heads, Jehovah. You continue to speak into our lives, O God. You continue to preserve us. You are God who gives us hope in hopeless situations. You are God, our healer. You are the strength of our hearts, the rock of ages, the lion of the tribe of Joseph. Jesus, son of righteousness, have your way today in the name of Jesus. You are God and there's none like you. All we need and desire is you, Jehovah. Let it be about you this morning. None of us but all of you in the name of Jesus. Let the name of God be glorified in this place. Arise, Jehovah, and let your name be glorified. Have your way in Jesus' name. Manifest your power, Jesus. Take total preeminence, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91, verse 1. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible reads, uh, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We explained the other day, he who dwells, he who stay, he who is located, he who is staying in a place with no intention of living, in a place called secret place. And the owner of that place is called Most High, meaning Elion, the strongest of the strong. That person shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Under your shelter as we have been singing in the name of Jesus. And among the benefits it says in verse 7, if we can jump to verse 7, it says, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Are we together? But it shall not come near you. When you were singing, that's the part there. The last part that was coming here just now here on the scriptures. Hence, we're giving the guys to say, please project this Psalm 91 verse 7. It shall not come near you in the name of Jesus. We put on the mask, we sanitize, but it shall not come near me. We social distance, we follow what they say, but we are praying it shall not come near me. How we together? It shall not come near me. We follow the protocol. When you come in, you sanitize. I hope you all sanitize. But it shall not come near me. That's what we are praying in the name of Jesus. The promises of God in the name of Jesus for preservation of our lives and my household in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray for the preservation. I'm still explaining of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Uh, so that we pray with understanding. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what we are praying. For my life and my household, meaning the people you are living with, it shall not come near in the name of Jesus. I, I hope you're understanding this thing, the way it's hitting me. It shall not come near. Are we together? The way I'm with my wife and my children, if it comes via my children, it means it has come near me. And so it shall not come near me. Are we together? We can see it on ENCA. We can see it on Newsroom Africa. But it shall not come near me. Are we together? That's how we pray the scriptures and we pray the promises of God over our lives in the name of Jesus. So the prayer is preservation of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Hallelujah. Let us begin to pray. The reason we make declaration because spiritual things are done like that. Are we together? God by himself could have just created the entire world system, the heaven, the earth, just by imagining and things could have happened. He has the capacity, he's sovereign, he could have done that. But the Bible says, and God said, is to show us that there is power in uttering. 
Are we together? That's what we utter. We are not imagining the prayer. We are uttering the prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are praying it shall not come when we are praying that the scripture in your mind that we have in Jesus' name for the preservation of your life and your household in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ready. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your preservation of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray for your preservation of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray for your preservation of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. One more time, my Father, my God, I pray for your preservation of my life and my household in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, by the power of God, by reason of scripture, O oh God, a thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, O oh God, but it shall not come near me. It shall not come near your people. It shall not come near Revival House. It shall not come near your people. It shall not come near your people. By the power in the name of Jesus. We are praying here today. It shall not come near your people. It shall not come near the Dramini. It shall not come near the Vivesa. It shall not come near the Gatos. It shall not come in the name of Jesus. It shall not come. It shall not come. It shall not come near your people, oh God. By the power in the name of Jesus. It shall not come no, near our household, near our children. The COVID-19 shall not come near our household. By the power in the name of Jesus. We invoke you, Lord. Preservation of our life. Protection of our life. Preservation of our life. Preservation of our household. By the power, Korosata. Beketeka, Ratakato, Bepekata, Ria Satama, Rato Koto, Bakara Sata, Beketeba. Every family represented here. It shall not come near their household. Masakata, Yetekata, be preserved by the Lord, 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 by the power in the name of Jesus. It shall not come. It shall not come. It shall not come near. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, O King of Glory, for your preservation of our life, the preservation of your people. He who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And he will say of the Lord, You are my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. It shall not come near Revival House. It shall not come near the Musas. It shall not come near the Kato. It shall not come near the Dramiri. It shall not come near Lucy's life. It shall not come near the Kosi. It shall not come near the Motebi. It shall not come near the Bebeza. He shall not come near the Teu. He shall not come by the power in the name of Jesus. We pray for preservation of the lives of your people. Lord, we ask that we preserve your people by the power in the name of Jesus. May you preserve every of our children. Oh, at school they are preserved. It shall not come near. It shall not come near. At school our children are preserved. By the power of the eternal blood of Jesus, it shall not come near our children. COVID-19 shall not come near our children by the power in the name of Jesus. Glory to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus, it shall not come in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. Anyone knocking and applying for something, I want to just to pray in the name of Jesus.
that the door shall open by the power of God in the name of Jesus, that the door shall open. Where you are applying for work, for business, we are asking you, God, now, let there be an opening in the name of Jesus. Let there be an opening. When you say, for my life, you know it can be your work, your business, the contract. Let there be an opening by the power in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, let there be an opening in my life in this season in the name of jesus my father my god let there be an opening in my life in this season in the name of jesus my father my god let there be an opening in my life in this season in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray father we are asking in the name of jesus anybody at the door of business knocking for the business opportunity to open up a way of prayer today by the power of God in the name of Jesus that you may cause it to be an open day you may cause it to be an open day you may cause the door to open to open let there be an opening law for somebody's promotion by the power in the mighty name of Jesus let there be an opening in somebody's career may you meet somebody low at the very point of me in the name of Jesus let those are open let those of employees Open, 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 open. Let your people be granted employment. Let your people find a favor with decision maker by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord. Let it be openly in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Anybody being frustrated in work, Lord? We arrest the frustration by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Anybody being tormented alone in their work, we arrest the torment by the power in the name of Jesus. We are asking let there be an opening by the power of God that bring elevation, that uplift somebody, that it may cause there to be an opening of doors for somebody's work, for somebody's career. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. The same worship, the same adoration. May there be answer to this prayer, Lord. For we shall call upon your name. You will answer us, O God. We shall call upon your name. You will answer us. We shall call upon you. You will answer. And you will be with us in trouble and deliver. May there be a deliverance, Lord, from somebody, O God, against any trouble. Father, as you have revealed, anybody belonging to this house that is held up all stages spiritually through witchcraft power, through foundational power, through ancestral power, through power in the region here, we pray for their freedom by the power in the name of Jesus. Let them be free. Let the people be free. Let your people be free. Let the women be free. Let the men be free by the power in the name of Jesus. Let there be a drawing from the north, from the east, from the south, from the west, in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance. Let the region yield to the altar. Let the voice be heard. Let the water run from the altar here, Lord. Let the water run from this altar into the street, into the homes, into the complex, into the city into this province let there be a gushing out by the power in the name of jesus let the revival break out let the major ministerial breakthrough you have revealed manifest by the power in the name of jesus they ask you lord let the people be loose by the final authority let the family be loose by the final authority let the men be loose by the final authority let there be a release of the people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, attend to the lives of your people. Attend to this prayer. Let it be answered. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of Jesus.